Okay, you guys, let's continue our hypothesis testing, but now instead of just doing a one sample test, we're going to start talking about two sample hypothesis testing. So let's just call this yeah, two sample hypothesis. So up to this point, we've really just been talking about um, about comparing like some claim about the population and then collecting data to see if we can see is that claim false basically you know seeing if we can see if the for example the hypothesized mean is like you know greater than some value 4.2 and so we collect data to see is in fact the hypothesis or hold on if the true population mean is greater than some hypothesized mean. Okay, so the problem with this is that we can only ask so many questions. Like we really need to start asking some more interesting questions. Like what if we want to compare two groups to one another to see if their population means are the same or to see if they are different. And this is when we're gonna start doing these two sample proportions testing. So there are, Really, we're going to talk about four specific tests uh, that we can do. So the first one is a dependent uh, two-sample test, and this one is called matched pairs. Matched pairs. All right, so matched pairs are used all the time, uh, especially like when we're doing um, pharmaceutical studies because we want to do, if you've ever heard of twin studies, We really like to do match pairs because when we do twin studies, we can basically say it's like, hey, the, the same DNA is getting both different types of treatments and we can compare the treatments one to another. Match pairs is really good. But a lot of times we don't have match pairs, so we can't do this dependent sample testing. We have to do some independent sample testing. So there are two when we are talking about the means. So match pairs and these next ones are all for the means. So I'll bracket them together in just a second. So the next one that we've got is two sample independent and then we say unequal unequal variances so we're going to do this two sample independent and this is going to be a t-test uh, maybe we'll put that right here t-test with unequal variances okay so that's that's another one that we can do next we can do a two sample independent t test with equal variances. So, all of these guys, we kind of bracket these together, and these are dealing with the means. We are going to be comparing the means from two samples one to another. Whether we're doing match pairs, two sample independent, unequal variances, or two sample independent uh, with equal variances. The last one that we have is our two sample. Sample independent, we'll just put proportions, proportions testing. This lets us compare two, two proportions one to another. So this one is dealing with proportions. When we're dealing with categorical variables. So it seems like that we have a lot, but really the groundwork is still the same. We still have to do the same steps with our hypothesis testing. We still have to identify what type of data we're dealing with. We need to identify the populations because since we're dealing with two samples, we actually have two populations. We're comparing the two populations to each other and the parameter of interest, whether we're dealing with uh, a mean or whether we're dealing with the proportions. We still have to state our hypotheses. They, they're tweaked a little bit. We'll see that in just a little bit. We still have to set alpha. We identify our test equations. We calculate out the test statistic and the p-value. And then we still we reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. And our conclusions and our confidence intervals are still written uh, in the same way. We just have to kind of expand it to instead of dealing with one population, we're now dealing with comparing two one to another.